In this video, we're going to talk about symmetry in Forger. Most of the time, you're going to want to have your changes on one side of the mesh to be mirrored to the other side. You can have this happen automatically as you work if you enable symmetry on your mesh. You can also apply a symmetry to a mesh that never had any to begin with. Let's see how. We can enable symmetry from the Symmetry button found in the upper menu bar. When pressed, it will show us the Symmetry menu, which contains all symmetry-related features. To close it, simply tap outside of the menu, or use any of its options. If we press hold the menu button, it will toggle the symmetry on, off. When it's enabled, we'll see the symmetry button highlighted. When it's disabled, it will be grayed out. The icon itself will also show you the selected symmetry axis. It's important to remember that since symmetry settings are per mesh, if the selection changes, the status of this button will refresh to show the settings of the selection. The symmetry plane is controlled by the axis of choice, X, Y, or Z. And remember, if you need to know how each axis translates to your camera position, there is a reference axis in one of the corners of the viewport. You can enable and disable the symmetry line display from the eye toggle button at the top of the symmetry menu. Forger also has topological symmetry support, which allows sculpting on posed characters while keeping symmetrical strokes across both sides of the symmetry loop. To enable it, you must have a topologically symmetrical mesh without triangles and mask two adjacent faces, one on each side of the topological axis you want to define. After masking them, we can scan the symmetry by pressing the Scan button. If the scanning is successful, it will enable topological sculpting, allowing us to sculpt symmetrically on our posed mesh. If you ever see yourself in a case where symmetry needs to be reapplied, you can do so in two different ways. The first one is reapply symmetry. This method relies on having a topologically symmetrical mesh. This feature is especially useful if you only want to make part of a mesh symmetrical, since it will respect masking when reapplying symmetry. The second method is to use the Make Symmetrical option. This action will slice the input mesh across the symmetry plane, duplicate and mirror it, and merge the mesh. You can use this option to make meshes symmetrical, even if they had never been symmetrical before. There is also a way to mirror or flip meshes across an axis by using the Mirror button. And remember, if you forget what any menu entry does, you can tap and hold on it to bring up a little tooltip with a brief explanation. In some cases, you will see an accompanying image to help clarify the text. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like it.